From potty training to basic obedience and manners, it's important to train a puppy early. Yes, very good habits are in the works. TV Tex is already catching on fast, and his trainer, Stephanie Bennett, with Believe in Dog Training, is here with an update to tell us all how he's doing. Thank you. Hello. Stephanie, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Now, when is the right age to really start training a puppy? Because I think there's a lot of bad information out there, maybe, about... A lot of people what want age? them to just be puppies in the beginning. Yes, right. yes, yes. I would say immediately. Immediately? I would say immediately, yes. Um, we even are now going as far as trying to work with breeders so that we can work with them immediately. Uh -huh. So as soon as they are born, because all through all their stages of life, because the most important stages of development happen from when they're born up until they're about four months old. And after that, they change, we start to get into adolescence at about five months old. So it's very important to get as much done as we can as early as possible. So they'll start soaking up that information right away. Yes, yes, so we can get them socialized like crazy. Uh, one of the big issues is the vaccinations, right, especially in and we have to be very careful about vaccinations and getting them out into the world and socialized at the same time. So what we try to do is we try to help people figure out how to get them done socialized safely. Even if they don't have all of their vaccinations yet, we can get them done safely. We can get them socialized safely um, instead of just keeping them in the house until they're fully vaccinated. We don't need to do that. And you mean safely because the exposure to other dogs could put a puppy like Tex That's at right. risk? So for, uh, yeah, for puppy disease, right? So we want to make sure and stay clear of that. But there's lots of good places for puppy classes, lots of different th things that you can do, like puppy parties and different things like that, so we can get Aww. them socialized. This guy, of course, has been socialized like crazy. He has a million <laughs> lovers here. He does, he does. He knows everybody and everything. And he does actually love everybody and everything, which is amazing, too. So you're saying they should be exposed to about 100 people? people, which I know mine by that age, there was no way she was exposed to 100 people. I mean, for him, it, like you're mentioning, that's easy because he lives that's here right. at a TV that's news right. station. <laughs> but how are other people, people supposed to do that? Well, and that's what we try to help people with. I mean, it's a goal. I say it's a goal, you know, um, up until they're about four months old. But like I said, puppy parties, taking them to the office with you, um, doing as many different things as you can just to get them exposed to all different colors, shapes, sizes, all that kind of stuff. Sunglasses, hats, you know, all those things that they need to be exposed to so that they're not scared when we get them used to it. We just saw some pictures yep. uh, from yeah. Texas yes. weekend with you. So that was part of his, you know, puppy play date training. Yeah. But you're really covering the basics right now, like potty training and nipping, which yes. is the biting, right, that yes. he's trying to do on yes. your mic. Those are very common puppy issues. Very, very common. And usually I think that when I get a call, it's, you know, oh my God, I call it the Lassie syndrome because it's like, oh, I have this beautiful puppy and oh my God, it's turned into a devil. It won't stop biting me and it's peeing everywhere and oh my God. So usually it's potty training and nipping all the, in that order um, but basically uh, potty training is real easy once you get it on a schedule if you do that if you get it on a schedule and you just make it very clear what you want from them it's pretty easy to do tech stayed with me this weekend didn't have one single accident he didn't Not one Good single job, accident. Good job. It's really amazing and also for the nipping um, oh thank you it's all about redirect so oh yeah here what we is go. this <laughs> he looks happy as this a clam <laughs> we're practicing recall which means practicing come to me Mm -hmm. So I had an assistant hold him, and then I would call him. So he's practicing, come to me. That's you, buddy. And are you rewarding him with we, treats? Yes, or indeed. Praise? Uh -huh. Treats. Okay. At this point, where you, I mean, praise, uh, lots of praise always. Lots of treats in the beginning. We'll, we, we will wean off treats later. So what can he do now? Oh, he's working on about 10 different things. You want to uh -huh. do something? Yeah, yeah let's see. Let's do something. Yeah, yeah. So I am clicker training, Tex, is my clicker. And all that is is about, it's about, look at him. <laughs> We've been working on go to your bed. You so that's, to oh yeah, that's so nice. Nice. Thank you so much. He already has a default sit because we've taught him that sit equals please. You can train me. If, oh, good boy. Oh. You can train me. Still if you I sit, do. I will give you stuff. That's right. We will. So he's learned that sit means please. He knows his name. Right now we're working on the behaviors first. I don't expect him to know the English words yet. He's an ESL student. So we're teaching him some English words, but right now the behaviors. But he does know several English, English words. He knows his name. He knows sit. He's learning down. Hey, Tex. Good boy, come on. And you have a little Go. treat there in your hand. I do, and a clicker. Yes, good boy. So, so what does the click do? Doing? Yeah, in so, conjunction with the treat. Good. So a clicker is just feedback. So what it is, is when I'm asking him to do something, I click the very second he does what it is I want him to do. Oh. Text. Go to bed. Good doggy. So he's associating the noise with something positive. Click means food. Click means food. It's a bridge. It's exactly uh, the same thing that they cool. do with whales and dolphins, only they use a whistle. 
right? So it's the exact same thing. So we're marking the exact second, taking a picture of the exact second you did the behavior. So that he goes, okay, every time my booty hits the floor, you click, I, I get a treat. I get a treat. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Yes. Okay. The bridge. Good boy. But the clicker training, yeah, Stephanie, is only successful if that click happens when his desired behavior that's right. So is, we do a lot of lure reward training, meaning I use the treat as a lure and then I can get him into the behavior. For instance, spin. Come here. Good boy. Spin. Good boy. <laughs> okay, now on the other side of this coin, Stephanie, what if Tex does have an accident? What if he is displaying behaviors like, you know, having an accident or nipping, mm -hmm. how would you counteract that behavior? Yeah, we so, don't want to click there. Yes, indeed. So for potty training, let me just get him on his bed because he's learning this. Can he bed? Good boy, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. That's right, oh, he's stay. So cute. And he's learning stay. He's very, he learns very quickly. He loves to work. So for potty training, it's a real big deal. So we use a lot of different, the crate is a very good potty training tool because it helps them hold it. And when they're in the crate, they will hold it, which means I can anticipate when you're going to go. So every time we get out of the crate, you go potty. Of course, every time you eat and pee and drink, we go potty. Every time you have a play session, you go potty. Every time you wake up from a nap, you go potty. I set this schedule up. I also set up very specific eating schedule so that I can anticipate also when potty is going to happen. Now, if he were to have an accident in the house, good boy, boy. Buddy. If you were to have an accident in the house, the only thing I do is if I see it happening, I run over and I go, oh my God, oh no, 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 no. And I pick him up and I run right outside as soon as I can. Mm -hmm. The key is this, no accidents without you seeing it. Because the more he has accidents without you seeing it, the more times he thinks, well, sometimes it's okay. You have to give him feedback. And there's no punishment involved. We don't do anything that causes pain. There's no, ne there's no need for that. Right. But what we do, do is just feedback. So mo most importantly, I'm telling him what I do like. Every time we go outside, we have a potty party every single time. And then I always tell him what I don't like. Really, it's five to one is my ratio. Five yeses to every one no. That's the ratio. Well, I did all of that with my dog, and she, I can count on the number of, I can count on one hand the number of times she had an accident in the house. Oh, she that's actually so did great. good. That's so good. And we're out of time, Stephanie, but what's the hula hoop for? Oh, well, he just, this is one of the tricks he's learning. He's learning, of course, the basics, but everybody wants fun tricks. So he does spin. He also rolls over. Good boy. Roll. Oh. Good boy. Oh, good job, Tex. He rolls over. And right now, his little joints are developing, so he can't jump really high yet, but he is starting to learn it. He actually likes it. Come over here. Oh, good, good job. Boy. That's a good boy, oh, I guess his clapping tail. is kind of Thank like clicking. And he's sad because he knows. All right, now that's I want my right. good, good job. Good boy. He even got a sound effect. <laughs> Stephanie, thank you so thank much. Thank you very, very And much. good job, little man. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Oh, he'll get lots of praise. Quickly. For more information, you can always visit believeindogtraining.com. Stephanie, thanks for taking care of our little text. Thank you so much.